Hello and welcome to this video session. Today we're going to look at two problems, both of which have to do with bond valuation. So with that, let's jump right in. Now here, we're presented with a one-year 8% semi-annual coupon bond, which means that there are two payments of $40. It's priced at 1,010, which is the present value of the bond. And the discount rate is expressed in bond equivalent yield terms as 9%. And so the six month implied rate is four and a half percent. Now we're being asked the one year theoretical spot rate expressed in bond equivalent yield terms. So let's draw a quick timeline where we plot out the two payments that are due. The present value of the bond today is 1010. We're due $40 at the end of six months. We're due the face value plus the coupon at the end of 12 months. The first payment is discounted over one period and the second over two periods. So we write out the equation. Present value is the first payment discounted at the given rate. And what we're being asked is, what is the discount rate of the second payment if the price of the bond is the present value, which is 1,010? Now what remains is to solve this equation. So the first term works out to 38.28. And essentially now we're gonna solve this equation for the value R. So we rearrange the terms and we end up with one plus R squared equals 1,040 over 971.72. And this term works out to 1.0703. So we take the square root of this term, we subtract one from that result, and we end up with an R, which is 3.45%. Now remember, this is the six month rate, so the bond equivalent yield is two times that amount, which is 6.9%. So A is the correct answer. The crux of this problem was in determining the implied discount rate for the final payment, given the price of the bond. Let's look at another question. Now here, we have a 10 year issue, which has an 8% coupon, has a yield to maturity of 7%. And we're being asked, what do you expect the price of this bond to be in a year? Now, one approach is to solve this problem quantitatively. However, a quicker way is to recall that regardless of the YTM, the price of a bond will converge to its par value as maturity approaches. This convergence to par value at maturity is known as constant yield price trajectory. A bond issued at a premium to par essentially starts at a price which is higher than par, but converges to the face value at maturity. Now, if the bond's coupon rate is greater than its yield to maturity, it implies that the price is at a premium to par. If the coupon rate is less than its yield to maturity, it implies that the bond price is at a discount to par. This particular bond is being sold at a premium, given that the coupon rate is higher than the yield to maturity. Hence, as time passes, the bond's price will move towards par, that is the price will fall. So all other factors being equal, a year from today, we expect it to decrease in price. So the correct answer is C. Now an alternative method, as I mentioned, is to actually plug in the numbers and calculate values. In this case, we have an N of 20 periods. We have a payment amount of $40. We have an interest rate of 3.5% and a future value of $1,040. So we can compute the present value as 1,091.16. Now we can plug in the numbers for a year from now when the only thing that changes is N, which becomes 18. And we can check and confirm that the present value is in fact lower than the price today. The number we get is 1087.46. So this confirms that in fact the bond price does fall. The insight that we had here is knowing that if a bond's coupon rate is greater than its yield to maturity, then the price will be at a premium to par. Now if the coupon rate is less than its yield to maturity, it will be at a discount to par. I hope that helped clarify bond valuation. I wish you all the best in your preparation and I will be back soon with more videos.